we often don't refer to things as post-viral syndromes because we can't quite rule out one of the, the simplest explanations for why people are still sick, which is that the virus is still there. So that's where post-acute infection syndrome comes from. We know it's not an acute infectious process anymore, but it may be a post-acute infectious process, meaning that the body has never fully cleared the virus. Um, and so in the case of long COVID, there has been ample evidence. And in fact, many of my colleagues that, that are part of the Long COVID Research Consortium led by Amy Proal were co-authors in a review document that was, the lead author was Dr. Amy Proal, where we showed all of the studies that had recently been published in the last 12 to 18 months that all showed direct evidence for the fact that people with long COVID seemed to have persistent virus in their body somewhere. 